All right, everyone. I thought I would come and do a video um, showing the different types of stamps that Stampin' Up! carries. We have three different kinds, and I just thought I would give you a little idea of what those are. Um, one of them is the one that they started with, which is the wood block, um, and those are called wood mount stamps. Now, I am not as much of a fan of the wood mount stamps because they're so thick and they take up a lot of room. So this is the only set that I have right now that has the wood blocks. Um, they have a really sturdy um, base and the red rubber is one of the best that there is out there ever. So I just thought I'd give a little demonstration on um, how each of them stamp differently. So I will ink up my snowflake in Calypso Coral, one of our Stampin' Up! colors, and then I will um, put it down on this Whisper White cardstock, just as an example. It stamps so crisp and clean, and um, it just is really beautiful. So that is our wood mount stamps. So I'll leave that over there put this up here as an example. Um, the next kind that we have are called um, clear mount and it's kind of confusing in the catalog when you look at it because um, you think that they're going to come and they're going to be clear like this which is photopolymer. Um, so the special trick to these is that they are red rubber um, almost the same as these except they don't come with the wood blocks to mount them on um, and what you would use is a clear block. Now this is Stampin' Up's clear block D um, and I find that that one gets used the most out of all of my clear blocks that I have. Um, so this is from my new set um, So In Love from the Occasions catalog in 2017 um, and I just thought that I would show um, what all of them stamp like. So I will stamp this one. And just put it down on there. And then this one works a lot like the red rubber as far as the clean, um, crisp lines that it has. Um, but you just can adhere it to your clear block just like this. And it just sticks right on there. I'm going to get my fing fingers all inky. But um, the difference between um, what you can do and what I do is that they have these stickers that come with them that you can peel off the back here and you can stick your stamp right on top of it. Um, now I find that they don't always um, stay sticky to my clear blocks when I add the stickers onto them. And so I just prefer to leave the stickers off and I just trust my judgment. But if you're not quite there yet in the Stampin' world, um, you can um, add those stickers and be able to see the image right on the front of your clear block from right here, because it'll go on that side of your clear block. So, um, so that is our clear mount stamps. And this color that I used is Sweet Sugar Plum, and that is one of our in colors from the 2016 to 2018 in colors that Stampin' Up! carries. The last color that I'm going to use is Mint Macaron, and it is a part of the 2015 to 2017 in colors, and that one will be retiring in May. So I just thought I'd give you a little bit. Um, the Calypso Coral is a part of the um, stamp line, stamping ink line that stays pretty consistent in the catalog. So that one won't be going anywhere for a while. At least I hope not because it's one of my favorite ones. So um, I'm going to ink up my photopolymer stamps, which are the clear see-through stamps. And these are pretty popular in the stamping world now. Um, and you see them a lot more often in craft stores and stuff. Um, so I could line up three separate stamps um, right where I wanted them. And um, the most important thing with the photopolymer stamps is that you can see through your stamps, for one, um, and you know just where it's going to go. The second thing that's pretty important is that 
because the stamps don't have um, the cushion like the red rubber stamps do, they um, kind of need a little bit of something underneath them to help um, them get the same clear, crisp stamp image. And so um, Stampin' Up! has this foam piercing pad um, that is in the catalog that is super cheap. Um, you can use a mouse pad from your computer, um, but I just find that if I use that pad underneath my stamps, that it gives me the cleanest image that I can get out of there. So that is the difference between the three different stamps that Stampin' Up! carries, and I just thought I would give you that quick little video of the different types of stamps. If you have any questions or um, are interested in seeing me do a project with one of these stamp sets, um, just leave me a message below and um, I will see you next time. Thanks! Music